Tonight, the wait continues for a one-year-old tax refund. The IRS issued Jose Martinez his money last May. Still doesn't have it, though. Jose telling us he's due $2,600, but his tax preparer won't give that money to him until Jose pays him more money. And that's when Jose knew he'd better call Bankin. And investigator Shannon Bankin is here now to sort of untangle this web of confusion. Keith, this is a really odd situation and one I am not going to let go here. I tracked down Jose's money to a bank in California, but found that the money is dwindling away. The last time I went there, it was... Jose Martinez turned to GGM Financial Services last year to file his taxes, but the big refund he was promised never arrived. He called me and told me, oh, Jose, I haven't received your check yet, but I received my part. They already paid me. So I don't know what your money at. This statement shows the IRS sent a $2,600 refund. Jose tells me GGM owner Gregory Marsalis assured him that the money would be more secure with a third-party bank than letting the IRS send it to his mailbox. So secure, in fact, that Jose hasn't seen one cent. He and his fiance called, texted, visited. It just didn't disappear. It's in somebody's account. Somebody knows where it's at, you know, and that's all we want. We want an explanation. So they knew they'd better call Banken. First, I went to GGM with them. The open sign was lit up, but the door was locked. I kept digging and tracked down Jose's money to TPG Bank in California. It's designed to receive tax refunds, pay tax preparers, and then give the rest to taxpayers like Jose. So I went back to GGM looking for Marsalis. We saw him pull up and walk inside. The door, though, was still locked. But he did answer the phone. And I'm standing outside your door right now. Can you come out and talk to me about this so we can try to work something out? I explained that I saw him walk in, and I wish you could have heard his excuse. Your ghost or your twin? Well, that's a new one. This went on for a while. Okay, can you send your ghost out to talk to me then? Because somebody needs to come out and talk about Jose's money because you can't just keep it forever. Come on now, I know you're inside, so just come out and talk to me. I hear your phone ringing. Are you going to answer it? I can hear your phone ringing on the phone. I can hear it ringing inside, which is further confirmation that you're in there and you won't come out. Can you see me? The tax refund started at $2,600, but now it's only $2,250. And Marsalis says he didn't get paid and he won't release the funds until Jose authorizes him to receive $800. This will be payments for three years of tax to returns, but I checked with others and that's uh, really high. That sounds high. $800 yeah, high. for three years of returns, mm -hmm. simple returns in very that. Simple. Is the bank saying anything about that? And I mean, is there any recourse? Mm -hmm. Well, one thing's for sure, Keith, I am not the only one looking into this now. I've been on the phone all day. There's state agencies looking into it, even the attorney general's looking into it, and the bank itself is telling me that they're pulling records and they're going to tell us what happened to this money very soon. All right. Thank you, mm -hmm. Shannon.